loves things. You know, right. maybe my husband, for example, he, you know, he loves computers. He can pick up a sport uh, activity and, and mm -hmm. be the best in it, you know, mm -hmm. and, and things of that nature. How does an individual who has so much going for themselves yeah. be able to find uh, that dream? Fine too. The, the main thing that I really find that helps people focus is mentors. Having a mentor, everyone can look at someone and say, I can do that, or I can do what they're doing. So if you have a mentor, so say, for instance, if it's your husband, it's computers, what in computers? Who is he seeing doing what he thinks he could do because it's easy for him? And then you either approach the mentor personally or either from afar, you can read their books and that sort of thing. But a mentor more or less aligns you up. I know with myself, um, I had a lot of different gifts and skills and things, and it's like I'm a creative person. And so creative people are like the hardest to pin down. That's why a publicist and a publisher, both of those are like promoting words. So I was always in that field of communication and media, so that was easy for me. But within that, you got to find your niche. And having a mentor help. Um, and finding a mentor, someone who really knows you, can actually give you some direction and guidance. Um, with myself, being in college, I was in journalism in such a big field, and then I was also in public relations curriculum in journalism school. And so when I got out of school, I worked at the Detroit Free Press in the advertising department. And while I was there, you kind of dabble in maybe like your, your gifts or your dreams, and you say, well, I really want to think, think I may want to write. So you try it. You try it, and you go to them and says, I'll write some articles for free. And I wrote some career articles and that sort of thing. And you kind of decide what you like and what you don't like. Because I find a lot of people say, I can do a lot of different things. But if you really put them to the test and say, okay, how much do they really enjoy it if they're following through with it? Um, if you really like something, then you would do it consistently. And what you're not consistent with, it falls to the wayside, then you kind of scratch it off. It's like, well, that's not really what I really like to do. Mm -hmm. Because at one point, a lot of people said, well, I like to be a reporter. Well, I don't like really hard news. That was not my thing. I didn't ever want to be a, a hard news reporter. Um, what I did like was features. So, of course, the magazine is like really filled with features. And what I like to write about is inspiring people about things that other people do. Absolutely. And um, yeah. that's like the main key, just to find out what you're good at and what you're consistent with. And you can see your pattern of what it is that you're always going back to. You're always going back right. to the same thing. Exactly. And that's their key. Right. So what are...